Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2017 exam. This one is for two marks and the topic is stop and wait ARQ protocol. Okay. Now in most of the questions, we ignore the fact that processing a frame will take some time. Okay. But in this question, they are specifically mentioning the processing delay for a frame. Also, we ignore the fact that acknowledgement frame will take some time to get transmitted. But in this case, because they are mentioning the size of acknowledgement frame, we cannot ignore the transmission time for acknowledgement frame. Okay, that means we need to consider the transmission time taken by the receiver to transmit our acknowledgement frame also. Okay, let's do one thing. Let me first read the entire statement, then I'll explain its solution. So have a look, they are saying, the values of parameters for stop and wait ARQ protocol are as given below. Bitrate of transmission channel is 1 Mbps. Propagation delay from sender to receiver is 0.75 milliseconds. Processing delay is given as 0.25 milliseconds. Number of bytes in information frame is 1980. Number of bytes in acknowledgement frame is 20. Number of overhead bytes in information frame is 20. Assume that there are no transmission errors. Then the transmission efficiency expressed in percentage of the stop and wait ARQ protocol for the above parameters is dash. Okay, so we need to find out the efficiency. But you cannot use that regular formula of 1 divided by 1 plus 2 way because in this case, we have already discussed, we need to consider the transmission time of acknowledgement and the processing delay. Have a look. What we generally do is, we say, suppose TT time is taken by the sender to transmit the frame. That means put the frame onto the channel bit by bit or piece by piece. At this time, the last bit of the packet is put onto the channel. So this bit will take some time to travel through the channel and reach to the receiver. Okay. Generally, we draw the acknowledgement like this. That means this is the last bit of acknowledgement frame. But in this case, receiver will take some time to process the frame. Okay. So acknowledgement will not send here only. Actually, this much time is taken by the receiver for processing. Okay. And this is given as 0.25 milliseconds. So this is 0.25 milliseconds. What is processing? See, at this point of time, receiver has received a complete frame. So it will just remove the extra bits, calculate CRC and other stuff. It will actually prepare acknowledgement frame. All of this is done in this time. This is called the processing delay. Okay. Now a acknowledgement frame is prepared. It will take some time to get transmitted because in this case, size of acknowledgement frame is not negligible. They have mentioned the size. It is of 20 bytes. Suppose 20 bytes take this much time to be put onto the channel. Okay. At this point of time, last bit of acknowledgement frame is on the channel. Now it will start traveling through the channel and it will reach back to the center. Okay. So at this point of time, sender will get the acknowledgement packet. Now you can consider that here also some processing will done, but we are going to ignore it because in question they haven't clearly mentioned that is processing required for processing a acknowledgement frame or not. I am going to ignore it because the information frame is of 2000 bytes. Okay. And acknowledgement frame is of 20 bytes only. So even if there is some processing required for acknowledgement, it will be comparatively very small amount of time. Okay, so we cannot say that both uh, information frame and the acknowledgement frame require same amount of processing. 
so we can just ignore its processing time that means this is not to be considered if they mention in question that uh, this much is the time for processing acknowledgement then only you will consider it okay now have a look the information frame is 2000 bytes okay let us see how much time will the sender take to transmit it transmission time is defined as length of the packet which is 2000 bytes divided by bandwidth so bandwidth is 1 mbps that is bits so we need to convert this length of packet into bits so i'm multiplying it by 8 these many bits divided by 1 m that means 10 raised to the power 6 bits per second so bits and bits will get cancelled per second when written in numerator will become seconds so it is these many seconds have a look this bits was cancelled this second is written in numerator and you are left with this so it will be 8 into 2 is 16 and this will be cancelled so this is 16 upon 1000 seconds which is 16 milliseconds so this time is 16 milliseconds okay now let us calculate how much time is required for transmitting a acknowledgement that is what is this time so acknowledgement frame is of 20 bytes only that means 20 into 8 bits divided by 10 raised to the power 6 bits per second so you very well know that unit will be seconds so these many seconds it will be 16 divided by 10 raised to the power 5 seconds okay and this comes out to be 0.16 milliseconds okay so this time is transmission time for acknowledgement packet and this is 0.16 milliseconds now have a look propagation delay is given as 0.75 milliseconds from sender to receiver they haven't mentioned the propagation delay from the receiver to sender so we can assume it to be same as from sender to receiver only so 0.75 milliseconds that means this time is 0.75 milliseconds and this time is also 0.75 milliseconds only see why are we considering only the last bit why am i considering only this bit because by this time we can be very sure that previous bits have already reached okay see second last bit will go like this okay it will reach here but we need we need not consider that time because by considering tt plus the time required for last bit that means this much time okay this is the total time we need not consider each and every bit separately because that is already counted in tt or tp only now you can see the total time is total time is sixteen plus one so point seven five plus point two five is one that means sixteen plus one seventeen seventeen plus point one six plus point seven five so this will be sixteen plus 0.75 plus 0.25 plus 0.16 plus 0.75 17 and uh, this will be 75 plus 16 is 91 11 yeah so it will be 
this much as the total time taken from here to here. See, for sending one frame, we are taking this much time. Okay. Actually, for transmitting only this much time is required, but still total time is this much because only after this point of time, you can send the next frame. Okay. The receiver, sorry, the sender will have to wait for this entire time because we are using stop and wait algorithm. Okay. We will wait until we get the acknowledgement of the previous frame. So only at this point of time, you can send the next frame. Let us see what is the efficiency. Efficiency is useful time divided by the total time. So you can see the efficiency is 89.3355%. See, efficiency is useful time over total time. Useful time is only this much because only this much time is taken by the sender to transmit a frame. But we have to wait for this entire time for getting its acknowledgement. So total time is uh, from here to here that we have already calculated as 17.91. So it is these 16 milliseconds divided by total cycle time, which is 17.91 milliseconds. This comes out to be 89.3355%. Okay. And they were asking you to round off it to two decimal places. So this one will be 89.34. Okay.